Hello, how are you today? Today we are going to talk about info objects. What is an info object? This is used to actually model real world data. The SAP Business Intelligence uses info objects to model real world data. An example is best to actually use to explain this. A company like IBM will have products and customers. A customer is named John Smith and he buys a laptop with the model number LAP001. We can use an info object to model the customer name and we can also use another one to model the product code, in this case John Smith and LAP001. We have two types of info objects. One is the info objects of type characteristics and the info objects of type key figures. So for example here, what we see here is data warehousing workbench of SAP. We have the modeling tab, which has a list of objects which are used for modeling. So focusing here on info objects, I have created an info area here, which I'll explain in a later video. And under that we have two, the two types which I, I just spoke about, key figures and characteristics. On the characteristics we have the customer name and the product. The reason the difference between these two is Info objects of type characteristics are used to describe um, data which doesn't change often. Also, data which, um, like are alphanumerical or alphabetical, or that describes a product. On the other hand, key figures are used to describe info objects which change, which are time dependent, and also are derived from other info objects. For example, in this case, we have the price, which is used, which is derived from. Um, basically in this case the price of the of, of the object we can also have an, another info object of type key figures which we call the revenue for example the revenue is derived from the price and the number of sales of the product if we drill down to actually see the properties of the info object in this case we choose the customer name which is of type characteristics we can see here on the right hand side the code of that info object we have the short and long descriptions. The data type is of type character. We have other data types, for example, like numerical, alphanumerical characters, date fields, and time fields. The length of this info object, which is of the, the characters, is 14, the maximum. We have other tabs here which are used to add value or explain better <coughs> the info object. For example, the master data text, the hierarchy which gives and shows an alternative view of the data and attributes which give more the, um, inf information about the info object which i'll go into this in a later video if we choose the info object price and view the properties the code here in this case is a tppri we have the long and short descriptions but the data types are different we have fixed set data types in this case the amount which is what we use to define price and we also have units of measure here in this case this is currency we use this to actually define we can actually input data from different types of currencies and then the system will calculate this for us in subsequent videos we're going to go into actually the process of actually creating these info objects Thank you for listening. Please leave a comment on this video. You can tell me two things. You can tell me how, if, if you liked the video, what you liked about it, and also what you would like to learn in later stages. Thank you very much. You can go to my blog, www.get-erp-training.com for more information about SAP Business Intelligence. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.